Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share five simple things you can do to be unforgettable to a high value man. Hi there, Matt Schaefer, your empowerment, connection, and relationship coach here. I am a former attorney who's committed his life to supporting women like you and creating the sort of fun, fulfilling, dynamic relationships with men that you are so worthy of. And I'm really looking forward to digging into this topic, some simple steps you can take to be unforgettable to high value men. I use these with my clients and with my students every day, and we are going to dive into it. But before we do, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click the link in the comments and caption. I have created a great training that I know you're going to love. So let's start off by looking at what it means to be a high value or high quality man. These are the type of men that you want to get to know, right? The type of men that you want to create a relationship with. So these men, they have a lot going on in their lives. They probably have a lot of hobbies. They have a lot of passions. They probably have a big career that they're very invested in. And they probably also have a lot of women that are interested in them. High value man, high quality men, they tend to be ones that get a lot of attention, right? So the question question becomes, how can you stand out from all of the other women that may be vying for his attention, right? How can you do that in an empowered, grounded way that honors yourself and helps let him know that you're the type of woman that he is worthy of being in relationship with? So what are these other women doing? What are other women doing to try to get his attention that you want to avoid? They may be pretzeling, right? And sort of collapsing their frame into him, which is basically agreeing with whatever he wants, sort of doormatting to him. They may be trying to deliberately manipulate him either by withholding attention or affection, like leaning back really far, or by pressing in and maybe using their sexuality or affection to try to like lure him in and seduce him that way. Or they may be keeping things very surface level and not being willing to go deep with him because they don't want to scare him off or they're afraid of being too much. Much, so they're not really showing their authentic self to him. And this happens a lot with high value men. And I can tell you from personal experience that it's actually very uh, boring <laughs> for high value men to experience women like this because we want to, as high value men, we want to experience the true essence of the women we're getting to know. We want to really feel who they are and be able to evaluate, is this person showing up fully and powerfully in their authentic self? Is this someone that I want to be in relationship with? Is this someone that piques my interest, right? So I want to give you some simple things you can do in the way that you show up to a man that are going to help him really see and feel and understand you and inspire him to want to be with you as a high value woman. So the first and maybe the most important thing you can do to be unforgettable to a high value man and set yourself apart from everyone else is be completely unattached from the outcome of your connection with him. So be unattached from the outcome of a date and be unattached from the outcome of the relationship. And so I know that might seem kind of hard, right? Because especially if he's a high value man and he's someone that you like, you do want him to want you, right? You want you want things to move forward in a powerful way. And I'm not saying you don't get to hold an intention that that happens, but what you get to do is not be outcome dependent on it going a certain way. Because when you release outcome dependence, when you don't make up a story that he has to like you or this date has to go well, you really liberate him. You liberate him from your happiness being his responsibility. And that's a really, really powerful and attractive thing for a man. If he shows up to a date or he starts getting to know a woman and he can really feel and understand that she's not making her happiness his responsibility, that's very light and that's very freeing for a man. And it's going to be very attractive to him. So how can you do that when you're on dates? You can really show up very present, very curious, very open to who he is and not try to push him in one way or another. You really want to demonstrate to a man by the way that you show up and by the way that you engage with him that you're really taking in who he is and you're really present in the experience that y'all are having together. Does that make sense? And if you show up this way, I can tell you from personal experience, it's not only very attractive to a man, but it also makes him feel safe. Like he can really drop in and go there with you. When a man feels safe, he really starts to get attached to you. And it's ironic, by you not being attached <laughs> to the outcome, he actually will become more attached and more activated by you and you will become unforgettable to him. 
And a second thing you can do to really make an impression on a high value man is to set him free and inspire him through the cycle of invitation and space. Now this has some similarities to the concept of leaning back, but there are some important differences too. So in the cycle of invitation and space, basically you wanna be making powerful, positive invitations to a man to have him step into his power and really take the directive in the relationship. So by using feeling statements, by saying, it would really feel good, I would love to go on an adventure with you. You're making a positive invitation to him on the type of date that you wanna go on, right? And then after you make a positive invitation, you then give him the space and you trust him to do that. And this is different than leaning back, which is more of a deliberate withholding of attention or affection to get a man to lean in towards you. This is you making a powerful invitation, a guided positive invitation for him to take action in a meaningful way that's going to make you feel good in some way. And then honoring his ability to take that action by giving him some space to do that. The man feels supported. He feels safe. He feels like he knows what he has to do to make you happy. And he's also being honored and trusted to do it. So I like to call it throwing the man the ball. If there's something you want, if you want to go on a specific type of date, if you want him to text you more often, you really get to make a powerful invitation. I would love to hear from you more often. Hearing from you brightens up my day and I love having bright days. So is there any way we could talk more often or you could text me more often during the day? And then you give him the space to either honor that or not. When we honor this cycle of invitation and space in connection with men, you really help give him a roadmap to make you happy and you get him excited about the prospect and process of doing it. Another way to be unforgettable to a high value man is to honor his hero's journey because any man who's really going after his life's work, any high value man who's operating with passion and purpose in his life, he's gonna be engaged in something of a hero's journey. If you haven't really studied that or or read about it, the hero's journey is basically a quest cycle that all men go on in their lives and a lot many people go on in their lives where you basically go out into the world, you slay your dragon, you overcome your challenges, and then you return back uh, victorious and transformed and there's some more steps to it than that but it's a quest basically so every man is going to be on some stage of his own hero's journey and one of the most powerful ways that you can activate and inspire him and set yourself apart from other women who may not fully see or appreciate it is really honoring and cheering him on for whatever it is that he's taking on in his life. So really show that you are actively curious in whatever he's doing in his life, in his career, in his passions. Be present. Ask him questions about it. Let him know how it makes you feel. Let him know how much you admire and respect him for this huge thing that he's taking on in his life. Let him know how cool it is to you that he is so passionate and so focused on creating what he's committed to creating in the world. If a man feels seen, respected, and acknowledged by you for what he's doing and creating in the world, it's going to really set you apart from other women who are maybe just giving him surface level praise for his car or his money or his job or whatever, right? Like really see him at a deeper level and praise him for that. See the inner fire that he has and acknowledge him for that. And he's really going to get activated and inspired by being seen at that level by you. And another way to be impossible to forget to a high value man is to really show up and be his emotional freedom and his emotional sanctuary. I cannot overemphasize how important this is because lots of men, especially men who are up to big things in the world, feel very emotionally isolated because when you take on a huge task with your life, when you're out in the world slaying your dragons, when you've got a lot on your shoulders, a lot of times you have to protect your emotions because vulnerability will get exploited out in the world. So a lot of men feel like they don't really have an outlet for their own feelings and that nobody really cares because everybody sees them as so strong. So one of the most powerful things you can do is to be that sanctuary for a man to put down his walls, put down his armor, and be vulnerable with you. And one of the best ways that you can do that is by giving him permission to be vulnerable by demonstrating it yourself. So talking about your feelings, being 
open with him about what's coming up for you, what's going on in your life, and really speaking from your heart on a regular basis and demonstrate for him how to do it. And then asking him questions, asking him how the events of his day made him feel, really like digging down with him and getting him to put words on it and encouraging and inviting him to be vulnerable with you. And another way to get a man to drop his walls emotionally and connect with you and be vulnerable with you is through touch. Physical touch as a primary love language for most men is a really powerful tool, especially if a man has a lot on his plate. He's holding on to a lot of tension, right, from whatever stress he's got. Holding a man, petting a man, being there physically for a man in a gentle, soft, nurturing way is one of the most powerful ways to get him to sort of like relax and drop into his body, which will then allow you to sort of connect with him verbally and start asking him about his day, asking him what happened, asking him how it made him feel. Feel. It's a really powerful tool you can use. And if you can get a man to feel safe and feel like you are someone he can confide in and you're someone that he can open up to emotionally, you become an invaluable part of his life. And you set yourself apart from all the other women out there who just see him at a surface level and that he doesn't feel like he can be truly vulnerable with. And one more powerful way that you can make yourself unforgettable to all men that you are looking to get to know is to ask better questions. Ask deeper questions. So often in life, and especially in dating, we are asked surface level questions, right? We're asked questions, the standard questions. What do you do? Where are you from? Basic questions like that. If you can ask deeper and better questions, you're going to set yourself apart from 95% or more <laughs> of the women out there. So ask questions that evoke stories for men. Ask him questions that get him to connect with his passions at a deeper level. So say he He's into tennis, right? Ask him, why does he love tennis? Don't just ask him who his favorite tennis player is. Ask him, what is it about tennis that he loves? Why does he connect with it at such a deep level? And get him talking at a deeper level about why that sport is so passionate for him. Get him talking at a deeper level about why this sport really hits him in such a deep place. And as he speaks from his heart and from his passion, you've activated him and you've made a connection with him that maybe other women haven't. So by the quality of your questions, you determine the quality of your relationship and the depth of your connection with him. So don't be afraid to call him out on aspects of his worldview that maybe you don't agree with. Be willing to challenge him in a playful, inviting way on differences between the way you see the world and he sees the world. Because if he can see and feel through your questions that you're a passionate, deep woman who wants to really see and experience him at a deeper level, you're going to become someone that makes a really big impact on him and someone that he's going to want to get to know better. So it's a really powerful way to set yourself apart and become unforgettable to him. So if you do any one or more of these five simple things, you are going to make a huge impression on him, set yourself apart from other women, and become someone that he has a very difficult time forgetting. So first off, be consciously unattached from the outcome of dates and interactions with him. Be curious, be present, be open, be playful, and take him and see him for who he is without a relationship, without a discussion, having to go a certain way. And if he sees this, it takes the pressure off him because you haven't made your happiness his responsibility. That's very attractive, very activating, and it's going to set you apart from a lot of other women out there who are pressing him for a commitment or they're pressing him for a certain outcome at the end of a date or at the end of a series of dates. Secondly, set him free through the cycle of invitation and space. So instead of leaning back and withholding attention in a manipulative way, which is what a lot of women tend to do, invite him through powerful feeling statement invitations to take a specific action to move forward with you in a powerful masculine way and then honor him and give him the space to do it. So let him know what you would love to see or feel or experience with him and then lean back a little bit and give him the space to do it, but in a welcoming way. And thirdly, 
honor his hero's journey. So he is out there on a quest in whatever stage of his career and whatever stage of his life he's in. He is overcoming obstacles. He has a vision and he's out there slaying his dragons, right? And so the deeper you can see, honor, and acknowledge his personal hero's journey and let him know that you see that, that you see beyond his money and his accomplishments and whatever surface level stuff he's created in his life. And you see where he's going. You see what he's working to build. That's really really going to be a powerful way to distinguish yourself from the other women out there. And then be his emotional freedom and emotional sanctuary. One of the most important principles of masculine and feminine interdependence, what we need from each other, is the masculine is looking to be emotionally set free by the feminine. So how can you demonstrate and be that vulnerable, safe space for him to show his emotions, to speak from his heart? How can you lead the way with your own vulnerability in the way that you show up to him to give him permission, maybe for the first time? in connection with a woman to really drop his walls and step into his heart with you. If you can do that, you're going to really turn him on and activate him at a deeper level. And lastly and universally, just ask better questions, ask deeper questions, ask follow-up questions. Just be willing to ask him questions that challenge his worldview, ask him questions that invite him to tell stories, ask him questions that get him to speak into his passion, speak into his purpose. And, and really, the more you can do this, you're getting him to access deeper things within himself when he talks to you, which makes him feel more inspired and more activated in his connection with you, which gets him to see you differently. How people feel when they talk to you changes and transforms the way that they see you. So you can use questions as a tool to really inspire and evoke him in a powerful magnetic way. So I hope you enjoyed these five tips that are going to help you be truly unforgettable to the high value men that you're looking to get to know. If you love this video, take a second, hit that little subscribe button below, and don't forget to click the link in the comments and caption. I have created some great training that I guarantee you is going to make a huge difference in your relationships and connections with men. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.